I'd like to give a special thanks to Chris and Larry for this beautiful cutting board that I won for the last chance cook-off. It is so cool. Thank you, Chris and Larry. I so appreciate it. He always wants to help. Just cutting some little pieces of wood for the fireplace, for the wood stove. Some will be used for kindling. Some for firewood. all part of the winter prep. It's the end of the gardening season for us. We've been blessed with so many unexpected things in our pasture, in our garden. These are our winter squash. We had two hard freezes and despite the fact that I had them covered heavily with straw, they froze. It was very, very cold. So, what do you do at the end of gardening seasoning? Well, for us, this is the time that some of the projects that we've been putting off, like the canoe restoration, will get done. And we're just going to let these gardens rest and we're going to redo all our gardens in the spring. We still have the cows on the pasture and we so enjoy having them here. Our four o'clocks are cut down. They froze so bad. But our elderberries are doing fantastic. It still amazes me how well some plants do and then others don't. I planted these elderberries last year and uh, despite the chickens in them and the ducks in them, they have done a fantastic job. The cows have done such a fantastic job of eating down the pastures and doing what they were put here to do. I would absolutely love, oh, I just saw they brought a hay bale. It's like, what is that? <laughs> I would absolutely love to have our own cows and Lord willing, perhaps one day we will. But it's getting time to put our smoker to use. So that is on the agenda. And we are cutting firewood. We are trying to use the wood we have on our property because there's a lot of down trees that are seasoned and we can use right now and that is very exciting to me so what does the end of gardening season mean to you for us it's putting everything to bed 
strawberries. I didn't get to plant my peppers as expected to overwinter them. So I had to pull those. It looks so different when winter comes and everything is so barren. This is a garden that we have constantly struggled with squash bugs just here, just in this section. But look at that beautiful, rich, dark, wonderful soil. These gardens are going to be revamped this year. We're going to till it, torch it, till it, and torch it to try and kill off some of the squash bug larvae that sit in that dirt all winter long and then rear their ugly heads. I do have a lot of garlic planted in here. So the tilling and torching in this section from here to here to right here will not take place. But this section it will. And we're gonna redo the tin and reinforce it a little better, perhaps even expand this garden. But to me, it's a barren desert. <laughs> and I could have planted a fall garden. I could have. The garlic was covered really good, but it has decided to pop up. And we had such strong winds that it blew the straw out of this bed. Now the one thing I want to be cautious of is too much moisture. So I am going to let this sit and dry out around the garlic. I'm pulling the straw away just so it can dry out a little bit. And then I'm going to cover it again with some more straw. Last year it got way too wet and I lost a lot of these garlics. And I, I love garlic. I, it's so good for you. And I don't want to lose it again this year. Or next year. We'll harvest the garlic around June. And it's a nice, beautiful, sunny day today. So this is what's on the agenda for today. Another project that we have that we've put off for quite a while is a door to our root cellar slash bunker. And there's just a piece of panel or plywood over it. Of course, it's covered with leaves right now, so. There's a lot of things you can do in the winter time. A lot of plans that you didn't get to in the summertime. And while it's nice, why not? Why not? So that's uh, what's going on on the homestead. Not a lot. Uh, hopefully in December, I've said it a million times, I will get my new animals. 
that I'm keeping top secret. <laughs> and I'm super, super excited about it. I'm a little nervous because I've never raised them. But I'm sure everything will be all right. Everything will go well. And that will entail getting another dog, but it will be a livestock guardian dog to protect these animals. So I hope you follow along on our journey and see what the heck I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, y'all. Be blessed. Love well. And do something today. Get out in the fresh air and enjoy the beauty that God has created and surrounded us with. Bye now.